and um, I first encountered Bach as a teenager when I started learning the organ. I think like all 14-year-olds, I started learning the eight short preludes and fugues by Bach. And then bit by bit, um, I explored some of the bigger preludes and fugues and then the trio sonatas. But I think Bach has also been a recurrent theme throughout my life, really, not just as an organist and harpsichordist, but also as a choral conductor, having conducted most of the, the bigger works like uh, the B minor mass and the two passions and so on. Um, he's a great inspiration to me. I've always found his music endlessly fascinating and inventive and uh, a constant challenge technically as well. In a way, it's been a blessing that lockdown has coincided with my moving into this lovely church. Uh, the church I first saw in 2013, and it was uh, on sale with the church commissioners. And uh, I then um, put in a bid on it. I, it took a while to know whether or not my bid was going to be accepted. But uh, once it was, I could then start work converting it. And the whole idea was that I wanted it to be not only my home, but I also wanted it to be somewhere where I could house my collection of musical instruments, which I've gathered over the years, various harpsichords and pianos. Um, it has been lovely to spend, I say lovely, um, to spend lockdown here. Obviously, like all musicians, it's been a very difficult time from the point of view of earning any money. And um, uh, like many musicians, I've missed the social aspect of music making, which is so important to all of us. But in a way, um, it gave me an opportunity to really focus on polishing the Goldberg variations. And it had been a dream of mine to learn this great work for many, many years and never really quite had the opportunity because of full-time jobs and so on. But suddenly I had this opportunity to really put um, a lot of effort and work into the Goldberg variations. It's a very challenging piece. Um, 
probably one of the most challenging, some people call it the Mount Everest of harpsichord repertoire. And I think that's not a bad description. But um, it's an aria and 30 variations that Bach composed for his pupil, um, Johann Gottlieb Goldberg, who was the court organist for Count Kaiserling. And Count Kaiserling commissioned Bach to write this piece um, so that his uh, harpsichordist Goldberg could play these uh, variations to him. The story goes that the Count suffered from insomnia and that the variations were uh, to help him get to sleep. Whether that's true, I'm not sure. I think it's possible that the aria might well have uh, helped him go to sleep, but some of the other variations, I think, would have kept him very truly wide awake. So my ambition to record it and a company that I've recorded for several times, Convivium Records, um, said that they would be very happy to record it. So it should be released in March 2021 and um, I hope that those who listen to it will very much enjoy it.
Thank you very much for watching this programme. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And thank you for all of you who have donated to the series. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and please click the link in the description to donate.